While the world was busy chuckling at the Cybertruck's quirky design or mesmerized by the Tesla bot's clumsy dance routines, Elon Musk may have quietly launched something far more impactful, something that might signal the end of Tesla's. Reliance on lithium batteries, without any massive event or tweet storm, Musk confirmed that years of intense internal development in a few key positions are now culminating in a battery tech that could append everything. If the rumors are accurate, Tesla isn't debuting this new battery in an ultra-expensive Roadster or luxury Model S instead. They're starting at the bottom with the ultra-low cost. $10,000 Model 2. This is no minor upgrade. It's a complete shift. And in this video, we'll explore what aluminum Ian is, why it matters, and how Tesla's uniquely tailored version may redefine electric vehicles for years to come. Let's start with the core of it all. What exactly is aluminum Ian? And why is it so revolutionary? Unlike lithium ions, which carry a single positive charge Li+, plus, aluminum ions carry a triple charge Al3+, plus, making them more efficient at moving electrons. This greater electron exchange translates into superior current flow and efficiency. In simple terms, aluminum Ian can push more power through the same space, which supports compact but powerful batteries. Some theoretical models even suggest that aluminum man could reach specific capacities of nearly 3,000 million powers per gram, almost 10 times higher than the 370 mAhg found in today's typical lithium ion batteries. That kind of leap in performance has major implications for both power output and space savings in electric vehicles. But performance is only part of the story. One of the most significant advantages aluminum ion brings is the elimination of materials that are scarce, expensive, or ethically problematic. Traditional lithium batteries often rely on cobalt, nickel, or manganese minerals that are either geopolitically sensitive or come from sources linked to unsafe labor conditions. Cobalt, in particular, has been a lightning rod for controversy. Due to its sourcing from conflict regions and its volatile pricing, sometimes jumping from $30,000 to $80,000 per ton. In contrast, aluminum is globally abundant. Far cheaper at roughly $2,200 per ton and more ethically sourced, this shift could make Tesla's supply chain more stable, ethical, and scalable. There's also the massive environmental upside, producing. Aluminum from recycled materials uses just 5% of the energy required for mining raw aluminum. This makes aluminum yan batteries not only more cost-effective, but also more sustainable in the long run, reducing Tesla's overall environmental footprint as they scale global production. Safety-wise, aluminum ion again stands out. Instead of the volatile organic solvents used in lithium-ion batteries, aluminum ion cells rely on ionic liquid electrolytes. These liquids don't ignite, are stable up to 200 degrees Celsius, and are chemically inert. When subjected to crush, puncture, and short-circuit tests at Stanford, aluminum ion prototypes didn't overheat or catch fire. They stayed cool under pressure. Literally, their thermal resilience means these batteries can operate in extremely cold or hot environments. From minus 50 degrees Celsius winters to 85 degrees Celsius summer highs, that opens the door for use in vehicles operating everywhere from Canadian blizzards to desert heat. Perhaps the most eye-popping benefit is charging speed. Tesla's current lithium-ion-based V3 superchargers offer around 250 kilowatts, which still takes 20 to 40 minutes to get an 80% charge. Aluminum ion changes the game. In lab tests, small aluminum ion packs have been charged in under 3 minutes and larger automotive scale packs are expected to hit 350 to 500 kilowatts, so at least twice as fast as today's best chargers. That means EVS could recharge in the same time it takes to fill a tank of gas, effectively eliminating one of the last big psychological barriers to going electric. Durability is another game changer. At a day's lithium ion, EV batteries typically, last around 1,000 to 3,000 charge cycles depending on usage. Aluminum ion versions, particularly those built with carbon nanostructures, have demonstrated over 12,000 cycles without noticeable degradation. That's equivalent to driving over 2.5 million kilometers or more than a decade of daily. Driving without needing to replace the battery. That kind of longevity could revolutionize commercial applications like delivery trucks, aircraft, 
in taxis. For the average consumer, it means fewer replacements, lower maintenance, and better resale value. Energy density is also closing the gap. Initially, aluminum ion batteries struggled with lower voltage output. But recent developments in materials such as 3D graphene cathodes have dramatically improved volumetric energy density. In lab conditions, these batteries have reached over 1,350 wires per liter. For context, current high-end lithium-ion batteries average 700 to 900 WHL. This means Tesla could shrink battery packs without sacrificing range, creating more cabin space or structural strength in smaller vehicles like the Model 2. In real-world terms, this all points to a car that's cheaper, safer, faster charging, and more durable than anything we've seen before. A vehicle that you can charge in five minutes, drive for over a decade without battery degradation, and still pay less than you would for a base model gas car. It's the kind of leap that doesn't just compete with gasoline at outclasses. It, but what sets Tesla's version of aluminum ion apart from others? Tesla isn't using an off-the-shelf solution. What they're working on is a custom-tailored system engineered to outperform any competitor in the EV space. One of their key innovations is the use of self-healing electrodes. These components use silicon-aluminum hybrid materials that realign at the atomic level when stressed. During each charge and discharge, typical batteries develop micro-cracks that eventually wear them out. In Tesla's aluminum ion cells, these cracks can close themselves thanks to flexible bonding agents and smart polymers. In lab conditions, this self-repairing tech has maintained 95% battery capacity after 5,000 full discharge cycles. For comparison, lithium-ion batteries often lose 25% of their capacity in the same time. Tesla is also moving away from the traditional cylindrical cell, Design found in their 2170 and 4680 batteries. Instead, they're embracing a flexible pouch based format for aluminum ion. These soft pack cells weigh less, are thinner, and can be shaped to fit a vehicle's architecture more efficiently. With no rigid casing, Tesla can arrange the cells in flat arrays under the floor, around structural panels, or even integrated into seats and doors. Each cell could be as thin as 4 millimeters and weigh up to 30% less than its lithium counterpart. Hey, this. Increased flexibility allows for entirely new car designs. By lowering the vehicle's center of gravity and optimizing internal space, Tesla can create safer, more aerodynamic vehicles that offer better performance and comfort. And because they're using ionic liquid electrolytes and sealed polymer, outer layers. The cells can bend slightly without compromising performance. A major benefit for compact cars like the Model A2. Another major step forward is in the recycling process. Instead of using toxic chemicals or high temperatures, Tesla is developing a closed-loop recycling system based on dry mechanical separation. This means they can extract valuable metals using pressure, vibration, magnetism, with no hazardous waste, and up to 40% lower costs. It's not just more sustainable. It also enhances Tesla's profitability and supply chain independence. Since aluminum ion contains no lithium, Tesla sidesteps the constraints of the Chinese-dominated lithium supply chain. That means full eligibility. For S tax credits under the Inflation Reduction Act, topped to $7,500 per vehicle, this not only makes Tesla more competitive, but also insulates them from sudden global supply shocks and price hikes. The result is total control over raw materials, pricing, and production at scale. Tesla isn't just swapping one battery for another. They're rewriting the EV playbook. A battery that heals itself, reshapes to fit your car, charges faster than a gas station fill-up and reduces costs across the board isn't an incremental improvement. It's a generational leap. So why does the Model 2 in particular need this battery to succeed? Because it's aimed at the part of the market where every dollar counts. To bring EVS to the masses, especially in developing markets or for budget-conscious buyers, Tesla has to cut costs dramatically. The current lithium-ion battery in a 60 kilowatt hours pack costs around $7,800, nearly 35% of a vehicle's total cost. With aluminum ion, 
that number could drop to $3,900, freeing up $4,000 per car. Combined with federal incentives that could bring the Model 2's real-world price down to $11,000, $14,000, making it cheaper than a Toyota Corolla or Honda Civic while still offering cutting-edge EV performance. Charging time is another huge win. Instead of spending 30 to 40 minutes at a supercharger, a 40 to 50 kilowatt hours aluminum ion pack in the Model 2 could recharge fully in under 5 minutes. For urban drivers or people without access to home charging, this means you could top off your battery. While grabbing coffee or running errands no planning required, the reduced weight from aluminum ion batteries potentially. 150 to 200 kilograms lighter also boosts performance and efficiency, even with a smaller battery. The Model 2 could reach 400 kilometers of range thanks to better power to weight ratios and smarter energy use. That kind of capability makes the model to not just affordable, but practical and enjoyable to drive. While other automakers are still fine-tuning lithium iron phosphate or nickel manganese cobalt chemistries, Tesla is already preparing for the next G.